In this video, I'll be discussing the proper way to mount your Preston digital motors. All Preston motor brackets have a 19mm opening for the mat box support rods. If the rods you're using are 15mm or 5 8 inch, you can use a bushing to fill the gap. For this video, we'll be using a 19mm swing arm bracket with 19mm rods. We'll begin by mounting a DM1X digital motor. Before you begin, ensure the mat box support rods are properly secured. Start by sliding the bracket onto the lens rod. Tighten the kip handle on the bracket slightly such that it remains upright. Next, slide the rod attached to the motor into the bracket. Make sure the bracket and motor are positioned such that the motor can easily engage the lens without rubbing. Tighten the motor kip handle slightly. Both handles should be loose enough such that you can move the motor to various positions. Now that the motor and bracket are loosely on, it's time to begin the three-step mounting process. Quick note, before starting the process, make sure the lens is not at an end stop. The first step is the course adjustment. Move the bracket and motor towards the lens such that the motor gear engages the lens. The fit does not have to be tight at this point. Just get it close. Fully tighten the kip handle on the motor bracket closest to the support rod. The next step is the fine adjustment. Turn the motor towards the lens and mesh the gears. Don't jam the motor into the lens, but ensure the gears are fully engaged. Apply enough pressure so that there is little to no space between the teeth, but not so much that you're pushing the lens. Once positioned, the gears should remain fully engaged even when you let go. Now that the motor is positioned, tighten the motor kip handle to lock it in place. The final step is to check for backlash. Try rotating the lens back and forth with your hand. There should be no play between the motor output gear and the lens if done correctly. The two should move in unison. If you find play between the lens and the large motor output gear, repeat the fine adjustment step of the process. After passing the backlash test, the motor is ready for action. In some scenarios, you may have to adjust the motor rod on the motor such that it sticks out the opposite side. Simply unscrew the motor rod screw and push the rod through to the other side. Retighten the screw to secure the rod once more. The DM5 motor has a built-in kip handle which lets you mount multiple motors on a single swing arm bracket. To mount a DM5, loosely secure the swing arm bracket to the support rod. Next, attach a 15mm rod to the other end of the bracket. Tighten this kip handle securely since it will not be moved again. Now you are ready to begin the three-step process for the first DM5. Complete the process with the first DM5 motor. Remember, you shouldn't use the kip handle on the motor rod end of the bracket during this process. Use the integrated kip handle on the motor instead for any adjustments. After the first motor has been mounted, repeat the final two steps of the process with the second DM5. Now both motors are ready to be used. Feel free to send us an email or give us a call if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching.